The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Field, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. You know that, my boy. What a difference. Zeke is in the house! 12 hours <laughs> make. Holy cow. We got a special guest to yeah. my right on the show today. Let me, let me. There we are. Hey! hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? Feed them. So about <laughs> six o'clock this morning, my phone just started. Mine did ding, too. Ding, yeah. ding, ding. I was like, man, I was trying to sleep till about seven. <laughs> I had to get out of bed and get in the shower. We get to the facility. The deal is supposedly done. We're having our team meeting in the our programming team meeting here in the training table. And here comes Zeke walking through the training table with with Todd Williams, heading upstairs to sign you know his contract. You know when you were Todd, it's money. Yeah, it's money. You know it's Todd, it's money, money baby. Went upstairs. Wow. He was gone about probably less than ten minutes, and he comes running through the training table back over to Ford Center where they get dressed, and the deal is done. What it's do time you, to big ball, baby. What do you guys think? A lot of money. You know what, Could man? have been a lot more. That's your yeah, boy. I'm, I'm Go ahead. I'm going to tell you something, man. Sorry, Zeke, Kurt. Bro, what's he, up? He, he's here for a long, oh, long time, what's Kurt. What's up, Zeke? <laughs> what's up, Zeke? Big dude. Big dude. I'm loving you, baby. I'm, 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 I'm full. I'm full right about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. You're way to the bank. I said, uh, I don't know. What, what bank of – who is the bank of the Cowboys? Bank of America. Bank of America. <laughs> you boy. Let me, let me ask you this quick question, though. Mm-hmm. Right? When you're talking about that kind of money. Mm-hmm. 50 mil guaranteed. Is that true? That's what they're saying. Okay. What they, what's the report? Six year extension Six on year top extension. of the two years that he still has left. For yeah. Ninety millions extension, right? That's a report. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now it's not fifty million, from my understanding. It's not fifty million new money. Mm. You still got to take the twelve point nine of the old deal, add that to whatever they're gonna put in this new deal, right. that makes it fifty. Mm-hmm. Right. Now I don't know how many he's getting, how much he's getting up front, but do you direct deposit that? <laughs> Or do you walk that check to the teller? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Did it just show up in your account? Because I remember my first couple active checks. I was like, you want the check? I want the check. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm walking this to the teller. I want them to see me when I come in there and they see this check. And they got to call somebody from the back. It says Dallas Cowboys, look at me. I want somebody to come from the back. They, when they go like, uh, manager assistant, yes, from my check. <laughs> No, this check ain't gonna bounce. I know this check good. <laughs> so when, when they when they give you that kind of money, Nate, right? Do you want do you want to direct deposit that, or do you want to walk that check to the teller? You know what, man. I, what I want to do is make sure I'm secure, cause I'm riding around for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen this before? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be tweeting to my bros back at the creek. You ever seen this before? Bro, I, I, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm walking that. I'm like, can I see your, you know, when they, you know how you say sign in? Why yeah. should I sign in? Right, right. <laughs> y'all ever seen this? <laughs> this is twenty million dollars. Like, like I say, y'all ever seen this? Yeah. This twenty million dollars. A lot see, of zeros. See all them zeros? The check gonna be this long, dog. The check ain't a normal check. The check. <laughs> and, and, all them zeros on if it. You yeah. get it. If you get it direct deposited, it's like that first time you ever get a bonus check. Yeah. And you just you like you know it goes through at midnight. You just want to see it. Checking. Got yeah. an extra yeah. zero in your account yeah. for the first time, and you just keep wow. refresh, refresh. I remember <sighs> the first time I got some like some real money. Money, like, yeah. Like. I, I took out a substantial amount. Like I, I went up down. Like, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take out. Like, this is fifty thousand. Right. <laughs> I just want to take it home and see what it right. feels like. I'll put it back in tomorrow. I'm gonna put it back in tomorrow. But I, you ever see on TV when you lay on the bed, you throw the money? Yeah. I did that. I was like, I just want to see how this feels. Yeah. I'm gonna take it right yeah. back. But I want to be able to go home and be like, work that. 50 on the bed. <laughs> What'd you oh, do when good. you got your first check? Your first big one? Like most brothers do, go bought me a car. Uh, <laughs> like why do we do black that? Folks do. Why do we do that? We go straight to the car. Like, I want that one. <laughs> no miles. No, no miles. <laughs> Nobody don't drive it. Tell that dude who's going to get it. I, don't, I got it. Give me the key yeah. where I can drive it right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, what do y'all think? Good. Glad it's over? I'm smart? So, I'm, I'm glad. It, everybody won. Yeah, everybody won. When you look at the numbers, 
right? Zeke got his extension. He's he's basically here for the better part of his prime, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. He's here for that haul. The Cowboys got a deal that is when you when you look at it, if you you can look at it two ways. The Cowboys got a deal in which if it's sixty, if it's six years for the ninety, right? Mm-hmm. And that's when you when you add it all together, you can say, oh, six in the ninety is fifteen. If you do eight. And the 103, it comes out to be about 12. Right. So right. depending on how you want to count this thing up, you could say, oh, he's the highest paid back because we're talking about six for 90. Then that puts him up in the upper echelon and the guarantees are more than what Ty Gurley got. The agency, Rocky Arsenal and his agent get to say we have the highest paid right. running back in NFL history. So Zeke got his money. The Cowboys got a dude locked up, the best running back, arguably the best running back in the league, locked up for eight years. Mm-hmm. Rocky Arsenal got his headlines. <laughs> the, the, the the boys up front and, and the rest of his teammates got the best player on their team back. Mm-hmm. Every like this is a situation. Jerry's ringing the bell and and at the stock exchange this in New morning, York. Yeah. Everybody won. Yeah. The fans were good. You, Media were good. You didn't reset the running back market by overpaying. Like he's right there where he needs to be. Everybody probably. Everybody won. Right. Yeah. And the crazy part about it, we there was at one point in time we worried. Right. There was a point in time we were like, man, he might miss the first three games. Yeah. But then I, I, I kept telling people, Jerry said this, and I believe this and so Jerry much. Jerry, we What's trust. Up? He up, said, What's up, deadlines make deals. Yeah. And he, when has he not got a deal done? When, when did Zeke need to be in the building and at practice? You said it yesterday. He needs to be at practice on Wednesday to be ready for the game. What's today? Ding, 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 ding. He was in the building He was ringing this the bell morning. at the stock exchange, like you said. He <laughs> yeah. said, man, I tell you what, I'm here doing what I got to do. With Zeke's pockets are full. Yep. And you know what? Everybody that was pissed off at Zeke, as soon as he made – is he going to get booed at home, or is they going to go nuts? No, they're going to go brother. Even if he bonkers. gets booed, as soon as he scores a touchdown, guess what? They're going Forget about it. Let me say something, man. I, I, I called a dude. I, I tweeted a dude this morning because he asked the question like, man, Zeke, Zeke need to just come on and be a team player so my kid can be so, – so he can show my kid, you know, team first. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted him. I want you to do that. I said, when he signed, bro, I'm tweeting you so, so we can have this team first. <laughs> yeah, me. I'm going to tell you something, man. The, and this is how I see it, and you tell me you, if you think different, Jesse. There's those of us, and I was one of those us, that when they came to me with a team-friendly deal, that's who I was, Mr. Team-Friendly. Mm-hmm. Because that, you know, I knew I wanted to be a cowboy. They knew I wanted to be a cowboy. It didn't hurt nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's elite players that deserve a little bit more than team-friendly. They got what they wanted. Zeke got what he wanted. Everybody's riding high. Let's see how the rest of these guys do it. But it's going to be some more team-friendly deals. So I'm asking the fans, know who you who, know your personnel. Zeke is on a different level. I heard Steven say this at the, uh, at the luncheon. You know, here's a guy hard-nosed negotiator, Mr. Steven Jones. A guy asked him, say, uh, what if another guy tried to do what Zeke do? He said, hey, they'll be sitting home. <laughs> he said, oh, so what are you saying? Zeke is a special player. Yes, he's very special and especially to this team. Now, this is a guy in the middle of negotiations, mm-hmm. keeping it real, bro. Yeah. Zeke is special. Dak is special. Now, I don't know how special he is to Jesse, but he's special to me because mm-hmm. he'll let me know here in a minute. He's Amari special to the is special. Like wherever you want to put Dak in the in the in the in the in the echelon of quarterbacks right. in the league, somewhere between ten and fifteen, mm-hmm. he's number one to Dallas. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So you you can put him whatever you want to put him at. He's number right. one to Dallas. He's Dallas's franchise quarterback. Mm-hmm. But your coach said it best. Your coach said it best. Jimmy Johnson said it best. He said everyone gets treated fairly. Not everyone gets treated the same. That's right. Mm-hmm. I got something to say. Say something. Say something. Nate, one thing. What is this over here? This is new. Some new hardware you got. Yeah, yeah. What's going I, I, this uh, uh, NFL pass. I'm watching the first half of the Giants, and because uh, I'm waiting on my man to oh. break bread with us on the offense. Oh, defense. you studying on the job? Yeah, yeah. What okay. I'm looking at is I ain't mad at that. What I'm what I'm looking at is, and I know this ain't number preseason, 
But I'm scared of the Giants. And I'm scared oh, of the Oh, stop Red that. Skin. Stop that. Stop that. All right, let me finish what I was going to say, and then we'll jump into the <laughs> okay, Giants. Right. And we'll know why you're scared uh, of okay. All right. All right. Here's, here's what I have the question about. You used mm. to come in here with a box of cookies, just eating cookies on the air with your hands and touching this table, touching this mic. Right. And now Jesse's been on the show three times, and you barring his handy wipes and wiping the microphone off, and now he made you a germaphobe. Yeah, yeah, because me and Douglas watched him for like 20 minutes coming here. Wiping the sides of the table. He got my side and went over there to your side, man. And he told us, hey, I ain't a germaphobe. But then he pulled these off and wiped these. I'm like, wow, I better get in there and get on this. So he's turned you already three he's days yeah, in. He's turned yeah, you. for the better. For okay. the better. Well, as long as you're improving. But see, I, but see this thing is, I ain't a germaphobe because I use his rag he already used. So you're not quite a <laughs> yeah, germaphobe not quite, yet. Not yet. You just you a little. killed some of the germs. Yeah, not, yeah, all, not all, all of the germs. All right, let's take a quick break. We might have a short show today because i got to get to the locker room. We'll okay. see. We need to get into some Cowboys offense, some Giants defense, and our little buddy, Zeke, is right in What's here in this Zeke? room with What's us. What's up, Zeke? Feed me. And we'll be here when we come back on Hanging with the Boys. The apartment's big. Such a great deal. Uh, it's okay. Just okay? What's not too... It's right above the subway. Well, I bet you don't even notice it after the... That's my neighbor, Angus. A deal that's just okay is not okay. Get a great deal with America's Best Network. Come into an AT&T store and learn how to buy one smartphone and get a second one on us. Based on GWS1 score September 2018. Now's a good time to tell you that SeatGeek is the new source of tickets for all your football needs this season. SeatGeek makes managing tickets easy, whether it's buying or transferring to a friend. They even tell you the best deals for every game based on their deal score technology, which rates every seat on historical data, price, and location. Download the SeatGeek app on your phone and take $20 off your first purchase using code DALLAS at checkout. SeatGeek. Life's an event. We have the tickets. Work the Cowboys way and channel the winning business tradition of the Dallas Cowboys and the Jones family at Formation. This dynamic workspace provides an elevated work experience on the Stars' aspirational campus with exclusive membership options available to meet varying needs. Choose from open workspaces, dedicated desks, and private offices to leverage our home field advantage for your individual business success. Limited memberships are available now, so apply today at Formation at the Star.com. Back to Hanging with the Boys. We're back. This segment's brought to you by Tommy John. Go to TommyJohn.com slash Cowboys for the most comfortable underwear on the planet. Dallas Cowboys United. Get the ultimate fan experience for the ultimate Cowboys fan. Join Dallas Cowboys United for only $20 and get an exclusive DCU fan pack and member benefits. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash United to become a member today. Nate, why are you scared of the Giants? Because last year, I think Tampa Bay shocked the Saints. And the year before that, somebody shocked the New England Patriots in in the first few weeks. Tampa put up 40-plus against the New Orleans Saints last year. Mm. And and I just don't want to be shocked. You know, I I know we're better than them. We are – our, our offensive line is better than their defensive line, and that's where we're going today. You know, I know our quarterback, uh, uh, Collins, they lost Collins, they lost Snacks, they lost Olivier Vernon. A year or two ago, they lost G- uh, Jason Pierre-Paul. They have been losing players for the last two years, mm-hmm. at a, at a, players that they feel that was not good for their locker room and wasn't good for their salary cap. They have let them go for a little of nothing. Mm-hmm. But these those players left left some good some I think some decent guys man some decent athletes they're not like Delvin or uh, uh, Thomas is not bigger than Snacks or you know heavy right, right. you know but they do have Alex Overtree at the inside linebacker they still have him and uh, he can run mm-hmm. he can run I just don't want them to sneak up on us you know and out hustle us you know we have the better talent I think. But I don't want them to out hustle us, Jesse. No, you're, you're, I mean, and that's the thing. Early in the year, if there's one thing that I, I'm fearful of, um, is that beginning of the year, everyone's a little bit sloppy. You're no right. one has found their groove yet. No one has truly found their identity yet. You're still working out the kinks. So the Giants are going to come in, and they're looking around. And they're saying, man, we got to just go balls to the wall and see what happens. 
there's no pressure on us. The Cowboys are the one with the, all the $185 yeah. million dollar worth <laughs> yeah. of talent, yeah. on, mm-hmm. on the guaranteed money. They got all the talent. They got all the headlines. We done lost Odell. We, done, you know, we don't know if Daniel Jones is the next – Peyton Manning <laughs> right, or right. Eli Manning, or, we don't know. They don't. They, there's so many, so much uncertainty going on with the Giants. It's it's that, it's that wounded animal, right? Mm-hmm. It's that wounded animal. When you back that animal into a corner, they can sometimes hurt you. They can yeah. come out striking this crazy, and, and, and it can hurt you. The Cowboys have to come out in this game and assert their dominance right yeah. now. If you give a team like this hope, mm-hmm. then the ball starts bouncing their way, and, and that's the thing about football. When people always people try to say like, "Oh, that game was," uh, 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 they 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 uh, uh, it was it was it was fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. You it is so hard to fix football. Like, right. cause you can take the one thing for, for sure. Oh, if I throw the ball to him right now, he'll catch it. He's been a Pro Bowl guy. He'll catch it, and then that one time he'll go and drop it. Mm-hmm. Or a DB could be have the I mean have the interception dead to rights and drop it. Or a quarterback can have a receiver wide open overthrown. I mean, there's so many factors in that you can't throw a game in the National Football League. Yeah. You know, but I mean you can do it, but you know, we've seen Lawrence get screwed with the call. But as yeah. far as the in play stuff, that that's the biggest thing that 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 I'm fearful of. But you can look at the names. I there don't is, recognize half the names on their roster. There's nothing that they can do with us. Yeah. Jab- Jabril Peppers mm-hmm. came out that. of Michigan, supposed to have been a stud. They they traded him. I think he was in on the uh, the trade for the wide receiver. For Odell Beckham. Is he – will he find himself here with the, with the Giants? He, questions like that, you know it's two or three teams in this league, Jesse. Their names make other other guys salivate. Is is, your, is, is Peppers going to be one of them guys? Like, Cow- the Cowboys? Oh, oh yeah, I'm finna crank it up. Will he have a career day? I, I, it worries me because it's so early in the season. You don't know. People are looking for their identities. They want to get off on the right foot. And as he said, you get a team that – and you y'all say this off air. Everybody's even. Mm-hmm. Everybody's even. All 32 teams yeah. have the same amount of hope yeah. going into Thursday night. So can they make a play early that distracts us? And you're like, ah, oh, okay, we'll come back. See, because that, that's the attitude I don't want us to have. And I don't want to have that sense of entitlement. We have a powerful offense which has not played together not one day in camp. Mm-hmm. All the 11 has yeah. not. Yep. Since the first day of camp, we ain't had our 11 guys together with our new offensive coordinator right. putting these things. We haven't had it. That's why this week is so important. This week, this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and walkthrough on Saturday is so important because I'm taking guys who have not played together all season. We still don't know what Kellen Moore is. That's right. Mm-hmm. We, like, we literally have no clue. There is no film. Yeah. There's no references. There's nothing. We are all going to this game like this. Mm-hmm. I sure hope this works because we don't know. We know Dak like him. <laughs> we <laughs> just we don't know. Mm-hmm. And that's if you if we had to say, hey, let's play this game paper versus On paper, paper yeah. we win. Cowboys kill them. Not even close. Yeah. Take your money to the bookie. If we're doing paper for paper, take right. your money to the bookie, put the house on it. Right. Roster wise, we they can't touch us. Mm-hmm. But then it always comes back to that point again, right? The meshing, the yeah. gelling, the play calling, the rhythm of it. All that stuff comes into play. Do I think the Cowboys will win this game? Yes. I don't. I, I never, ever, ever assume a division game is going to be easy. Me either. Because they never are. Nope. I, I, as someone who has watched it and as someone who has played in them, Giants, Eagles, Redskins. Redskins. You're going to get their very best. Mm-hmm. And the teams know each other so well because they play them twice a year. Yeah. The players know each other. The coaches know how the other teams coach. The systems and everything. Yeah. But the, the one gift and curse is that no one knows Kellen Moore's That's right. system. So you really can't game plan, game plan for it. You can say, well, we're gonna. there's the same offense, same Jason Garrett offense, but we don't know how it's going to be called. But in the same respect on the other side, these guys don't know how it's going to be called either right. on the offense. <laughs> how long? How long is that 
that is what is that four games, four to six games before there's enough film on him to figure him out. Eight. I'm gonna give him six to eight, and then they they're gonna start building a nice little book on him. Mm-hmm. See, I'm gonna give him six to eight unless he unless he kind of does like McVay does. McVay gonna have an all good offensive minded coaches gonna have four or five. Plays that they setting up like they ain't seen this. I'm gonna play this off of this. Right. I'm gonna play this off the. I'm gonna run this run, but I'm gonna play. It. You know how they set yeah. it up, and all of a sudden that one play, boom! Oh man, I ain't know they had that. Yeah, because he's been setting it up the right. whole game. And each coach have that in his back pocket that he's been working on. You know, whether it's up here in his mind or whether he done ran it in practice, this will work. You know, and at the right time. Talking about Kellen Moore in the offense. Y'all take turns, whoever wants to go right. first. What's one area that you feel really good about and one area that you're kind of like on the Cowboys offense that you're not so sure about? Go ahead. Go ahead. I see you here. Jesse's pointing at our uh, and, and, co-host over here okay. that hasn't said one word today. Okay, so and, and, and is, that, <laughs> is that a good or a bad when you point at that? That's good. Okay. He, he erases mistakes. Hmm. He's he's an eraser. We're talking about Zeke. Zeke's an eraser. Mm-hmm. He's an eraser, and he's a balancer. And what I mean by that, you're gonna have to play your base fronts because of him. You can't get fancy and exotic because of him. He balances up. His first and ten, you see the eight man in the box. Yeah. His second and five, he's somewhere near the box because he's scared. He balances up. He makes it where Dak can read a little bit easier. Mm. They, do you agree they're a pair? Uh, do you agree that Dak and Zeke is a pair? Are uh, you look at? I look at Zeke as a, the best player on the team, but do you look at uh, 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 Dak as? As as a pair with pair no, with him, no. Uh, is he an individual? He's still? an individual. Okay. He he is like it, uh, you know, mm. Zeke stands alone. Right. I think you more so put Amari and Dak. Okay. Okay. Together. Right. Right. But Zeke stands alone. Okay. Because of th- this is the kind of guy you can give him the ball, and he can take nothing and turn it into something. Yes, he can. Right, and so what that now does is you talk about the eighth guy coming in the box, right? When that eighth guy is in the box, now what happens is I'm able as a quarterback, Dak Prescott, I can read things more simpler, right? And, and now if I do a, a little motion, oh, now I know it's man-to-man. Oh, now I know it's zone. And that allows me and my number one receiver to be on, on one accord or me and my number two to be on another accord. Right. But it all stems from 21 being the bell cow of things mm-hmm. is that when you when you don't have him, then people drop back and say, "Okay, four, now you beat us. Now you beat us," because we're more worried about him on a screen, can go to the house, on 37, 38, going yeah. to the house, 31, 32, going to the house. Right. You know, the, every, he he is a game breaker and a game. Wrecker. Yeah. And he can do it from anywhere on the football field. I think he evolved last year, 77 catches being a receiver, but you give him the ball anywhere in the field and he has the ability to go to the house. Not every player in the league you can say can do that. Any, any, anything on the Cowboys offense that concerns you? Any areas of concern? I just want to know uh, for two people that concerns me, I feel good mentally about Frederick. Mm-hmm. I feel good that he knows the game mentally, mm-hmm. but I, I I don't know his endurance yet, and I want to see if Connor Williams gonna get, hold got, up, got some strength. Yeah, he gonna mm-hmm. hold up through a whole game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I understand he may get bull rushed one or two times, but that thing got to be real yeah. bad before he got injured last and, year. And we've heard we've heard in the off season how strong some of the guys yeah. have talked about how much he's worked out, how much right. you know muscle he's put on. It'll be interesting to see. If he got the endurance, endurance, for that yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the one concern for me offensively mm-hmm. is, is Dak going to take the next step? Like he's been on this plane, like he came in white hot, mm. and he didn't kind of. He's just been, he's just been the same, right? He hadn't raised his game, mm-hmm. and he hadn't dropped off. It's just been the same, but that is not going to be enough. Not this year. Twenty three touchdowns. That ain't enough. Thirty five hundred yards. That ain't enough. That's not going to cut it in this league. 19 points a game, 23 points a game, second half of the year, that's not going to be enough. 
So with the addition of John Kitna, who's my like John Kitna's my like my brother. Like I right. talk to him almost every day, right. way before he even became. The, yeah. the, and I told him, I go, I'm in the media now, bro. If Dak don't come out and be ready to go, I'm gonna kill you. Like I, <laughs> right, I, I, right. I'm gonna talk bad about you. Yeah, I'm like, right. just no, because everybody like they did the same thing with Kellen Moore. He was a quarterback coach. There's mm-hmm. no way he could, Dak's not getting better because this guy. That's another funny thing is they killed Kellen Moore as a quarterback, quarterback coach. coach. Yeah. Now everybody's Fired praising him. As, yeah. Now everybody's praising him as the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Wait a second, which one is it? Is if he can't be a quarterback coach, now he's gonna be anyway. That's another. Whole, that's a whole other episode. Right. But for me, it's Dak. Can he take the next step to be in that conversation with those that we talk about saying, oof, the Matt Ryans, you know, the the, the arms, uh, uh, the I'm, he's never going to be Aaron Rodgers. He's never right. going to be Tom Brady. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But can he get in that in that second tier yeah. of quarterbacks? Your Russell Wilson. Your Russell Wilson, your Matt Ryans, mm-hmm. your yeah. Goffs, your right. Winces, those type of quarterbacks who are going to can put a game on their shoulders and go win it yeah. through the air. If you look at some of Dak's stats, and I don't know the exact stats, but I've looked at some of them over the last, you know, the offseason. His first few years, he's right there with where Tom Brady was. It's just this was the year that Brady took that like next step, said, yeah. got so, to that so that's next my, level. That's, that is my thing. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is he going to continue to ascend right. And, right. and take off? Or are we going to stay on this same plane? Because eventually – that that becomes this. Mm-hmm. You got to make a decision where you it, or you become a backup. Yeah. You be, you become Trent Dilfer. You become one of those guys. And listen, yeah, backups make a lot of money in this league, league. League needs them. League needs them. But if you're going to be the franchise paid, they guy, they just paid two of them in, in, with the Colts. If you're going to be a franchise <laughs> guy, Jimmy Garoppolo was a backup at one point in time, mm-hmm. right? But if you're going to be a franchise guy, like now is the time when yeah. your game needs to take the next level where there's where they can't say, oh, we're going to let four beat us. Like you wouldn't dare say that about Aaron Rodgers, right? You wouldn't dare say that about Tom Brady. You wouldn't dare say that about Phillip Rivers and Drew Brees and, and Pat right. Mahomes. That's you wouldn't. Right. You would say who? No, somebody else. Be get the ball out of their hands right now. But Dak, they'll go stop Zeke, double Amari. Go ahead, four. Let's see what Gallup gonna do. Number thirteen. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Randall Cobb gonna do. Yeah. Well, I tell you what they've done by by what they did with this guy this morning. They have taken all the excuses. For basically anyone on this team, on the field, coaching staff, management, there's no, more. there's no more excuses. No, this is the year. Like, okay, you got, you got all the toys. We went and got all the toys. Now, what are we going to do with it? Because if you don't do it this year, I mean, can you do it? You know? How far the way this is thing constructed? See, I, I'm not buying Super Bowl. Super Bowl is something. You have to earn. I, I, you have to earn that. You have to mm-hmm. take that. The Super Bowl, I think you have to take. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think the Rams had a good chance, but last year New England took they it. They took, took that it. game. Right. Took it. They right. took it, yes. And so, and when we played, I felt we, we took them. It wasn't no – we had to go get them things. Right. Mm-hmm. And the NFC Championship game, is that enough? Yes. For this year, right? For this year. Yes, because you progress. I, I, I think so. Duh. Well, I, I think that. Yeah, they, I, it's yeah. enough. You're saying for Jason. Yeah, that, yeah cause I mean, it, that's the only thing oh, that's left. The, Everybody yeah. else is yeah. signed or under yeah. contract and in camp. Well, if you I, go, if you get there, you're you're still progressively getting better. Right. You're one step closer now. But how you, big is the window? Is the question after that? I, I just, I, you I know, what, what do you think? Is it that. enough? I think it's enough to to for him to be back for a two or three year yeah. deal. I think it, like this year, it's mm. it's literally NFC Championship or, game or, or bust or yeah, yeah yeah maybe blowing this whole thing up on the on the whole coaching side. Who knows? Well, you got your next head coach already on staff. I think I know who Richard. you're gonna say. You said it, not me. Who that special team coach? Doug, Doug said it. No, nah. special team coach. No. Nah. Now, Keith is my guy. But, Keith O'Quinn's my dude. I like Keith O'Quinn, and, but he ain't ready for doing head coaching duties. <laughs> hey, in, in Dak's defense, Kellen Moore, <laughs> you talked about how he needs to take the next step. When you look at the two biggest wins or the two biggest games he's been in, his rookie year versus the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers came back and won that game. But before Aaron Rodgers won that game, Dak scored the two-point conversion with his legs. Last year when they beat the, the – uh, Seahawks in the playoffs. 
Dak had a crucial like third and fifteen that he, mm-hmm. he picked Ran up with his legs. Is that the intangible that's going to keep him? In? I mean, he's risk averse as far as he throws low interceptions. He doesn't have, you know, stratosphere like passing stats. But if he keeps his interceptions low and he keeps the running part of his game without getting injured, is that all he needs as long as you've got the talent around him? No. Okay. You, you got I, – I, correct me if I'm wrong, Jesse. You got to you gotta, you gotta start pressing the deep. You got to throw that thing long yeah. sometimes. I, I believe that, man. In this league, even Tom Brady would dink and dunk you with two or three times a, a quarter, he finna chest you. That keeps everything spread out. That thing's everything clear. The running game helps you, but that passing, that deep passing game, especially when you connect. And if you notice, teams like the Patriots, they always have a guy. Always have a guy. Sometimes it's Randy Moss. Yeah. Sometimes it's a guy like Brandon Cooks. Sometimes a guy that you don't even know. Yeah. But you know in the back of your mind, he run a 4-3. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. And they'll put him in the game sometimes, and all he'll do is zoop, <laughs> yeah. zoop, zoop. Yeah. And, it, and it's – Listen, I just want to—I want you in the back of your mind to know, the minute you think I'm not going to throw it, I'm a, yes, sir. I'm a th- yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got so, a guy. I got yeah, a guy. Yeah. So and, and so you'll have the Patriots will have a guy who may have 20 catches on the entire year, and all of them will be this, and they'll just keep pressing you with that all game long. So that safety or those safeties, before they think they're going to jump up on those crossing routes or those short routes or Edelman or West Welker or whoever or Gronk when he had them. Coming across those shorter routes, no, you, no, 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 no. Because the minute you you step up, oh snap! Yeah, and yeah. it's over your head, and th- those are backbreakers, and that's the point place where the Cowboys have to get to. People aren't afraid of Dak going over their head, mm-hmm. and so that 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 hinders everything else that he wants to do, and those windows become much more clouded and difficult to throw in because no one's afraid of you consistently throwing it over their head. So they come up and they crowd those windows, and now for a quarterback who isn't the most accurate quarterback in the league, it makes those windows much smaller to throw in, much harder to complete. And when you talk about how you're going to – look at the last couple of Super Bowls. Minus, the, minus the, 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 the Legion of Boom and that defense and minus the, the Ravens defense. Look at the quarterbacks of those teams – who were winning the Super Bowls in the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. All of those guys were probably threw for 30 touchdowns. All those guys probably threw for 4,500 yards plus. Yeah, you're going to – listen, the more rich you take down the field, the more interceptions you're going to you're have to throw. But it's going to, it's going to produce more of what you need. You need to score more points. You need to make this thing an, an, an attacking offense. This whole, you know, ball control, run the clock out, teams don't, teams don't fear that. They, they don't fear that, and it's going to come to bite you in the butt when the time when you Play need to go out time. there. I'm telling you, man, I, I agree 100%. I'm telling you, if he could have connected with uh, Gallup, Gallup on some long ones mm-hmm. last year, mm-hmm. you, you look at a different game. Yeah. That field, you, they make you defend. The, that's what the good teams make you defend the whole field. Yep. With one pass. <laughs> he's, he's been doing it in camp and yeah. preseason. Let's see if that translates to the regular season because it could definitely – you got Zeke, you get the defense on their heels, you add Zeke in the mix. And I can tell you John yeah. Kitt is not coaching, like, timidness. He ain't coaching that. He ain't, like, coach he, he ain't coaching that. Like, he's telling Dak, Go. rip it. Yeah. Like, like, that's who John Kitt is. Rip it. Man, listen, whatever happens, happens. If that's a throw – if we call that play and that's the play where the ball's supposed to go, go, let it go. And if it if it fails, it fails. Yeah. But that's where the ball's supposed to go. Yeah. And this because in this set, in this play, it's supposed to go to the deep post. Throw and, it. And you know why he's saying that? You know why he's really saying that? Because he don't work on every technique, every skill, with his feet, with mm-hmm. his eyes, with his hips, with his with his throwing mode. He don't work on this a million times. So now he's like, what are you scared of? Right. Mm-hmm. Trust. Yeah. Everything else is in place. Yeah. Well, today's show was sh- just like me, short and sweet. <laughs> I hear you, man. <laughs> That's what What's she up, said. man? What's up, I got to get to the locker room, so we're cutting it a little short today. We will be right. back tomorrow. We're going to go Cowboys defense, Giants offense. What else are we going to do? When are we going to do predictions? Tomorrow or Friday? Friday. 
Well, do you, Friday? You know season mine. predictions? Yeah, season. You do season? Okay. Let's do Can't season and, tomorrow. And, and, and our conferences. You know, we usually go who's going to win the, the East, who's going to win the West. Okay. Yeah. okay. Remember, we, we, yeah. do, we, we do that during the summer, we'll, but we we'll, weren't here. Yeah, yeah, we'll throw that in in the next yeah. two days, and we'll take some calls on Friday, too. Yes. So. All right, Jesse. Thank- I'm excited to meet – Meet moms. Mama Gross, she'll be, yeah. here, she'll be here Friday. I know, I'm yeah. excited. Thanks for cleaning the studio, Jesse. Anytime. <laughs> Nate, thanks for bringing slobs. it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Douglas, <laughs> thanks for getting us on the air and keeping us on. William, thanks for getting us on all the social and the websites. Caden, still not sure if you're doing anything with this show, but thank you. <laughs> we will be back tomorrow, yeah, 1 o'clock. Hang out with the boys. Yeah, this has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this,